Hello my dears. Welcome to a new video. In this video, you will enjoy a beautiful summary and explanation of the poem. If I Was a Tree This poem is written by the poet Mudnakudu Chinnaswamy. If I Were a Tree reveals the Indian society's complicated and cruel caste system. The poet wishes he would have been born as a tree rather than a person, because the human race still practices immoral discrimination based on caste. The poet, on the other hand, turns to nature, which he believes does not discriminate against any creature regardless of size, color, habitat, or gender. Mudnakudu Chinnaswamy aspired to be a tree since, unlike a human born into a low-caste household, trees are not subjected to prejudice or humiliation. In the first stanza, the poet explains that if he were a tree, the bird would not inquire about his caste before making its nest. This shows that the poet has felt embarrassed of his caste as a result of the caste system on several occasions. He says that his shadow would not feel soiled when the sunshine embraced him. The tree would also have a beautiful relationship with the cool breeze and the leaves would be sweet. In the second stanza, when he states that raindrops won't stop thinking of him as a dog-eater, it's clear that the individuals from whom he had expectations, much like a tree hoping for water, always rejected and insulted him. Then he says that when he spreads out his roots, Mother Earth will not flee in dread of sullying its image. This means that he was pushed out by the upper caste because he belonged to a lower caste, branching out refers to lower caste individuals discovering and utilizing their full potential, which the upper castes prevent them from doing. In the third stanza, the poet goes on to explain that if he were a tree, the sacred cow, which inhabited over 300,000 gods, would scratch herself and touch him using that justification. This indicates that he has been refused access to a number of sacred and holy places. It is a paradoxical expression that demonstrates how the higher caste worships cows yet overlooks the divinity of their fellow people. In fourth stanza, finally, the poet justifies his desire to be a tree by saying that being a tree would guarantee his death by being burned in holy fire or turning into a beer. This shows that he is aware that he will be despised even after death, and that he will not be permitted to be cremated in a decent manner. As a result, he would be condemned both during and after his life as a person, but as a tree, he would live in peace and dignity. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Stay tuned for more videos.